everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, I know I am late with my videos, but I still wanted to do this one. Perfumes that work well in rainy weather, because you know, this is spring. Every time I think of spring, I think of this song. I don't know who wrote it, where it came from, that my mom, would sing to us when we were little march forward in like a lion just whooping up the waters in the bay then april cried and stepped aside and along came pretty little may that always comes into my head for spring so i was like let's do some fragrances that work well in rainy weather which we've been having quite a bit of in texas cloudy humid rain rainy weather lately and y'all, I just want to say that I'm sorry this is a long intro. I just got off from work and I don't have any makeup on, but I was like, Sean, see, you, I got to get some stuff. I, I need to get a video out, okay? So y'all excuse this, but we're here about the fragrances, okay? So let's get started. The first one I thought of was Philosophy Pure Grace because this just smells like a clean just it's a soapy scent but it's very clean and feminine to me and i don't know about you all but when it's usually when it's muggy and rainy especially like it is today it's very humid i don't want a heavy fragrance sitting on me i like to smell soft fresh feminine that's usually what i go for and that's the majority of what i have here so the next one i want to talk about is a favorite of mine and this is kayali musk 12. y'all this as i've said before is just a very pretty feminine musky scent it's so soft and it's not fresh as in soapy but it's not a thick fragrance and i think it would just smell so good and it wouldn't feel like it was sitting on you when it is muggy because today like at work we were talking the mask was suffocating because it's it was it's just muggy and thick and humid feeling and you don't want something sitting on you i don't when the weather's like that so the next one is one uh everyone knows about probably and this is lancome's idole this one I have said before, it smells better to me on my skin than from smelling it from the bottle, but it does remind me of like a shampooy, very modern rose scent. And again, this reminds me of just being showered, feeling clean, smelling good. So I think this would work well in the rainy weather season also. This is one I've talked about a few times. This is Mont Blanc Femme Individuelle. This is a favorite of mine. It's very soft, pretty, musky, powdery scent. And as y'all can tell, I'm not going over notes in this one. I have quite a few fragrances here. I just wanna tell you what I think of them and why I think they would work in the rainy weather. And yet this one is, it's, it's not soapy it's floral soft powdery fragrance extremely feminine and i just think it would like i said be light and smell good on you when the weather is icky and i love rainy weather by the way i love the rain i love the thunderstorms you know, the tornadoes can stay on away from here, but I do love the rain and thunderstorms. I've always loved the rain. I, I just love it. I know people hate it, but I don't. So next, this is Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. And I just have a little itty bitty one. I can't really, see. hold on. Yeah, this is a musky, salty woody kind of aquatic scent it actually smells like think of being by an ocean or yeah by the ocean and the wind is blowing and it, that's what it smells like like 
clean ocean air. Oh, this could be unisex, but I think it doesn't leave. This is one that's perfectly in the middle. So this fragrance to me is perfectly unisex. Man, woman, both can wear it and smell great. Okay, next I have Victor and Roth's Magic Liquid Diamonds. And I think this is discontinued, sadly, but I think you can find it some places still. This makes me think of expensive, bougie, hotel, it's very clean and floral. It does. It's it's a bougie, clean fragrance. That's what I get from it. And it's not soft or, or I mean, it is soft. It's not heavy. And I think this would smell good um, in the air and not feel like it's not... You won't feel like the fragrance is wearing you in the rainy weather when it's humid with this one either. It's really nice. Okay, this is one I've received quite a few compliments on, and this is Tiffany & Co. Now, this one, it's a little, it's got some depth. This is a little thick. I don't think of light and bright, but this one is also clean and soapy and fresh so even though it's thicker and weightier than the ones i've mentioned as of right now it still wouldn't be too much to me on a rainy muggy day i still think you would feel refreshed and nice with this because i don't know if you're like me when it's muddy muggy i just feel i can feel icky i can start feeling that way so i like to wear fragrances that help me feel refreshed and and that i'm smelling good and feminine that's how i want to smell all the time but especially when i can feel just icky i can't explain it how i can feel when it's muggy and humid and these fragrances help me not to feel that way so this is one, it's kind of a departure from the rest that I've talked about. So this is Burberry Her London Dream. Now this one is not powdery and soft and floral or fresh or even after the shower, but it has a, a lemon, kind of like a lemon woody freshness to it. Not fresh as in, when I, I'm not thinking of fresh as in floral and aquatic scent, soapy, but think of a fresh lemon scent with some woodiness to it. And I wore this one day when it was pretty humid because I was trying it out for my review video and I loved it. It smells so good. So I'm sure this one would work too because lemon brings that freshness anyway to fragrances. So this one would be really good for rainy days too. Okay, next this is Justin Bieber, The Key. And this one is very... It's very, like, Edole is a shampoo-y scent, but this is like shampoo musk. Yeah, shampoo-y musk. This is, I just got out of the shower. I'm not trying to do the most. I just want to smell like I took a bath and I took care of myself and I smell pleasant. This is what this gives me. And so I would wear this probably when I was staying at home. Uh, for the rainy day, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to go out, but I still want to smell and feel good. I would probably throw on something like this. Okay, so this is one that is popular on YouTube. This is Balenciaga Flora Botanica. Love this bottle. This is a very green scent. It's, to me, I get gr green and rose. Yeah, like a grassy rose bush. But when I spray, this is another one like you do. I don't particularly love it from the bottle, smelling it from the bottle. But when I wear it, it's a very, it's a fresh 
green floral fragrance. And I've received compliments on this. It smells different. This is one I would going to work. Like I said, this would be casual at home. All the ones I mentioned before, they would be work going out. This one too, work going out when it's muggy. You want to smell really good and put together and not feel like your fragrance is going to make you feel even ickier. Because that's, that's just how I feel, y'all, when it's muggy. When it is muggy and that thick humidity, uh-uh. Cannot stand it. So next we're going to talk about Parfums de Marley, Delina. And y'all, y'all know this scent. This is a rose rhubarb tart fragrance. But to me, when you when you spray it on, if you don't spray too much, because to me you can't overspray this one a little bit. You just smell like a beautiful woman. And to me, there's no weather where you don't want to smell like that. <laughs> so, I've heard people say this smells like a pretty woman's skin and i can get that as it dries all the way down you know you've used a good body wash a good lotion it's been on you for a little bit it settles into your skin i can see what they mean when they say that so i had to bring out parfums of my delina because you know if you get wet while you're running around outside what you're doing doing what you're doing in the rain then you would like to smell you know, like just a pretty woman. So, apart from Samara Delina. To me, you can't go wrong with it. This is one I wasn't sure of, but it is one of my absolute favorites now. This is Roberto Cavalli Paradiso Azuro. This is so sophisticated to me. For an aquatic fragrance, I get like a, an aquatic, watery, minty fragrance when I smell this. Very fresh. I believe this could be unisex too. A hint, a hint of sweetness, but I'm talking about like minty sweet. Oh, love this. Okay, y'all, we're down to the last two. This is Versace Dylan Blue Parfum. I have said this, I don't know how many times in my videos. This smells like you've used your best hair products, your, your high-end shampoo, conditioner, um, leave-in conditioner, conditioner spray when you're, you know, wearing your curls like I am now. You took a good, good shower. You you just you just smell so put together and clean and sophisticated. It's got I can smell that apple. At first, I wasn't getting the apple, that green apple that they have in here. Green apple or Granny Smith, one of them, an apple. And I smell that more since I've been wearing it. Oh, it's so pretty. And I have worn this in rainy weather, and I just felt like I was smelling good and I wasn't feeling heavy. And I just felt like if people walked by me, they would go, oh, she just smells like she just stepped out of the best shower ever and washed herself with all of her best bougie products from the top of her head to the bottom of, my, of your feet. That is what I feel like with Versace Dylan Blue Porfam. Okay, last one I have is Armani C. Passione. I always have to say it like I can't really smell this one. Hold on. Now, this reminds me kind of, uh, gives, woo, y'all, almost knocked over Delina, of the Versace uh, Dylan Blue because it it has that shampoo-y vibe to it also. But this one is a little thicker, a little sweeter, and it has hint of the of syrupy fruitness to it. I can't remember if it's black currant in here, but I do. I think the same things I said about the Porfim, where you smell like you, you know, you just use your best products in the shower. This also gives me that, but more of a berry scent to it, as opposed to just fresh and clean and 
apple crisp. This gives me berry, like I use my herbal essence berry shampoo and conditioner and you know a dove berry body wash or something and it, you just smell like you use really good smelling products fresh berry that's what i get from this and i forgot one fragrance i'm just going to tell y'all about it because i'm wearing it today and that's why i forgot to bring it back here and it is cartier's Baser volet today it, it was cloudy and rainy no it wasn't it didn't rain cloudy and muggy and humid and i wore that and i can still smell it and it is a sophisticated bougie floral scent and it just if you're going to a job where a very professional environment. I think that one would be perfect for you know any time. Really, these are any time, but I think they would work well in the you know this muggy, rainy season. Cartier's Baser Volet would work perfectly. I wore it today. Felt wonderful. Smelled wonderful. Even when I even though I felt kind of icky because it gets it gets sticky where I work too inside the the building when it's you know humid so I love that one also so that is a little bonus sorry I don't have it here with me but y'all I just went and got another fragrance I forgot so I'm not getting back up again sorry so y'all those are all the fragrances that I think would work wonderfully in rainy weather and I did have more because I do have any Versace fragrance period that i have in my collection i think would work really well in rainy weather but these are the ones i pulled so if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment below telling me if you agree with my picks and tell me some fragrances you love to wear when it's rainy cloudy dreary icky please turn your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time i upload a video please share this video with everyone who you think would love and enjoy my content and as i always say if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.